Imagine this. Suppose you get hungry in the middle of the night. You head to the fridge and see two choices. A green salad and pepperoni pizza. What would you choose? The fibrous delight of the green salad or the meaty goodness of the pepperoni pizza? Well, what if I told you it isn't just your choice but the choice of billions of microbes in your gut? Seems impossible? Not quite. In fact, these gut microbes do more than just choose salad or pizza. They also affect the way we think and our health. Welcome to the amazing world of our gut microbiome. So what exactly is the gut microbiome? Well, you can think of the gut microbiome as a little rainforest. This rainforest is composed of thousands of different species of bacteria, fungi, viruses, and other microorganisms all coexisting to create a unique ecosystem to you. Generally, the more diverse your inhabitants, the better. Why? Well, our body can't quite survive on its own. But with the help of our little friends, we can do so much more. They allow us to break down complex sugars and protein. And yes, this applies to your chosen pizza or salad. Some of our gut dwellers even aid in the production of essential vitamins and minerals like vitamin B12 and short-chain fatty acids, as well as in stimulating and alerting our immune system for any disturbance or threat in our bodies. Because of how the gut microbiome is involved in so many processes, you can almost think of it as our second brain. And hey, you're not totally wrong. Did you enjoy that midnight snack? Well, it turns out that the reason why you chose pizza over salad or vice versa is because of the gut's ability to communicate with the brain. The microorganisms in our gut feed on different things. Some like leafy greens, while others love sugary or greasy food. Think of our gut having frequent calls on what the gut as a whole would want the body to eat. If the majority of the microbes prefer greasy food, then the gut would have told us to choose the pizza slice. If the majority of the microbes preferred greens, then we would have craved salad more than pizza. Neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin are then flushed by the body for rewarding us for choosing so. And it turns out, about 90% of dopamine and 50% of serotonin are all produced in our gut. Wow! This just goes to show just how much our gut can influence our behavior and our actions. The link to our gut microbiome and our body doesn't just stop there. Recent studies have shown that gut dysbiosis or an imbalance in our gut microbiome is linked to several chronic illnesses like diabetes, obesity, and cancer. We've only just discovered that for us to actually be healthy, we shouldn't only care about what we eat, but what the billions of microbes in our gut want as well. So the next time you head to your fridge, do yourself a favor and think of what the billions of microbes in your gut want to eat as well.